Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for another course review, and today talking about the two-day precision rifle course by Amtac Shooting. If you're unfamiliar, Amtac Shooting is owned, operated by Bill Rapier. Amazing, incredibly talented guy. Spent his career in the Navy, which is what he'll tell you, which is true. But yeah, like the lion's share of it with Dev Group. Super talented guy. So many skills, very dangerous human as well. So one of the courses he actually offers is Precision Rifle Course. And pretty cool. All of his courses are geared towards, geared towards violence, towards like fighting. And to that end, like opening up day one, like going over kind of the point of the course. And he goes out of his way to explain like, hey, on the continuum of force, like that spectrum, like this is way, way at the far end. Like you have interpersonal violence, like combatives, blade work, and you get into pistol work, carbine work, and you get into like night vision, and then way on the far end, you get into like precision rifle. Again, we go from most likely to, to most dangerous, most likely, some issue, you know, random violence, having a, you know, having heightened awareness, having a pistol, having a blade, knowing how to take a punch, throw a punch, all that stuff deals with that. Then we move on to carving stuff. If you're doing carving work, you know, on your front porch, things have escalated significantly. Because again, this wasn't geared towards like PRS or anything like that. So with that in mind, kind of got started with the course. Going kind of crawl, walk, run, initially starting out with fundamentals of shooting, like building that good solid shooting position in the prone, trying to get as stable as possible, working on like natural point of aim, all those things. And with that, start to work through one, establishing a really solid zero. And some people had some gear that wasn't quite set up. So there was also kind of a little class on basically setting stuff up and going through and showing or he showed for people that needed it or wanted to learn kind of best practice how to basically go about like getting your optics set up in the rings your eye relief for your length of pull all those different things all those different factors and then getting it torqued down to spec marked all those things which was really cool especially if you're new to it because coming from like shooting a carving over to precision rifle like totally separate disciplines after we did that largely the rest of kind of that first day was set up for just either refining your zero on paper at 100 or if you were pretty solid it was kind of a choose your own adventure there was steel set up all the way out to i think like 1500 yards i will say i don't think anyone definitely not on the first day got out probably past like a thousand yards i don't think in part the weather did not play nice first day of a precision rifle course and the wind was howling which in fairness having having wind like that's a big part of shooting long range which is a great opportunity for learning but not when you're just trying to like kind of refine your zero and stuff like that and the wind is just blasting through blowing dust with all the people in the class, there was fortunately a lot of spotting scopes. So people had the opportunity to basically take turns spotting for each other and giving people corrections, which is definitely kind of an art unto itself, especially if you're not used to it, being able to give good, meaningful corrections as far as not like, oh, your bullet went over there. It's like, okay, cool. Like, what's my correction though? Like, where, where do I need to go? Like up and right like in how much whatever it may be but it was good to be able to actually have students basically work with their peers and kind of figure some of that stuff out and then kind of i guess towards the end of day one we ended up going through and getting speeds so chronographing guns uh, using magneto speeds and i think someone out there had a lab radar but basically getting that data which we could then turn around and plug into our ballistic app. So I will say personally, things don't always go as planned. I was out there shooting my SR25 and 
for whatever reason, it just, it was not grouping the way it should group with the ammo I had. It was kind of like knockoff 118 LR uh, and like open tip match. And yeah, like it wasn't, I felt like something was off and I'm kind of playing with a zero and then I'm like, okay, well, let me try and reach it out there. And big picture, I ended up running out of elevation and then I was just frustrated. And I was like, well, like a good student, I brought an extra gun, even though it wasn't maybe the gun that would be perfect for this class. But I ended up pulling this thing out, pulled off this EOTech, pulled off the magnifier, pulled this scope off the SR25, which is the 5x25 Brownells, their MPO match precision optic in the Scalarworks mount, threw it on here, got this thing zeroed, with some 55 grain soft point and ended up getting my velocity. And that's kind of where I ended day one. A lot of other people were able to do some more shooting out on steel, but eh, my day one kind of got wrapped up going down some rabbit holes, trying to troubleshoot stuff, but ended up getting this gun squared away and ready for day two. Starting day two was a mindset talk, something that is constant through all of the Amtac shooting courses is a mindset talk, which I think is really important. And I didn't record it because it's Bill's talk. If you want to hear it, I suggest you go to one of his courses, but it's really good. There's a lot of good information in there to just kind of, just kind of mull over and think about. But after that was done, we kind of got back to it. And some people confirmed zeros again on day two, and people that were feeling pretty spicy went ahead and broke those cold bore shots. To include my buddy Nick, headshot at 300 yards, cold bore, boom, crushed it. Talented guy, also pretty sweet rifle, really nice barrel on that thing. And yeah, after that, we just started shooting. I ended up taking this thing out with that optic to, I think finally like 900 yards, which is crazy. Now granted, at like 800 yards, I'm shooting like 10 rounds and hitting two because the wind is howling again on day two, basically like bracketing, like my round, my elevation's perfect, but it's just like, going here and here because yeah the wind was howling and then 900 900 even more so like it was really hard i think i got maybe like one hit out of like 10 rounds and i'm like okay i'm done this thing is definitely running out of steam with 55 grain soft points at that distance but after we kind of shot through kind of the first half of the day, we got into a bunch of positional shooting, basically building up really good shooting positions, stable positions with whatever you may have, whether it's your sling or shooting off of tripods, just some kind of unconventional stuff and figuring out how to use what you had and make really stable oh, shooting positions. Then something that was really cool, we went out to basically this little finger that looked down into this canyon on either side and kind of high angle. It wasn't anything crazy, like it wasn't that, but yeah, basically shooting down into these canyons and yeah, threw this thing on my tripod and yeah, crushing the steel at like 500 with this thing. Really cool and just kind of fun being able to Again, going back to unconventional positions and building those positions, being able to use a tripod, especially when you're set up kind of on a slope and just figuring out how to make it work, whether it's 
different kind of like bags. Like I was using the Kilo by Sawtooth Rifles it is. And it's pretty cool. It's just kind of like this, it's basically a yoga pillow that is now a shooting pillow. And you can use it to create different positions to include just like kind of stabilizing your arm, things like that. And it was really cool. Really neat being able to shoot down off of that finger. There was definitely kind of the entire spectrum of shooters out there in that class too. People who were really new to it. And then you also had people like John from Helix 6 Precision, basically builds like amazing carbon fiber barrels as well as custom guns. And there were a couple of those guns out there too. Really incredible, like beautiful guns. And yeah, those things definitely shot. Overall, it was a cool course. I will say, there were some factors, largely like environmental factors, that did not make it easy though. The wind, you get what you get. And that wind was howling. And to jump into it on day one with like that strong of a wind, it was rough. If day one was nice and calm, it would have definitely been easier, but got a lot of wind on day one and day two. And while the range was cool, and like I said, it went out to like 1,500 yards, there were only a couple places where there was basically a berm, which made it really hard to basically spot impacts, like your splash if you end up missing. And that made it hard, especially for like students trying to spot for other students, because along with that howling wind, there really wasn't any trace out there too. So depending on kind of atmosphere, like humidity, all these different factors, you can watch trace. Like you can watch bullets go and you can, you can tell like, well, it's still probably, I don't know, like three quarters away. You're be like, oh, cool, like hit. And then sure enough, boom, ting. And you're like, oh, dang. Because you can see the trace. Like you can call it before it even actually impacts the target. But because of all the wind, and atmospherics like no you couldn't do that but overall it was a really good learning experience one yeah also it was exercise and patience for me definitely frustrated that sr25 did not work out but this gun with this optic and again those 55 grain soft points super impressed this thing like shooting groups sub MOA with that ammo, but then being able to stretch it out that far, even though like once you got past 700, like, mm, yeah, like you, you're basically bracketing it. Like it's, it's getting to the point where it's like transonic and all over the place. But if you knew your wind calls, you pretty much own all those other distances, like 700 and in, which definitely I'm pretty impressed. But who do I think that class would be good for? Well, again, it goes back to kind of your application, not a PRS class, not to say you couldn't go there and then take what you learned and go do PRS. Like all that stuff is applicable to include all the like data stuff. So again, getting those velocities, being able to learn how to actually use like a ballistic app where you plug in your velocities, plug in your bullet, all those things, give your drops that's really handy and it kind of goes across the board. Same with if you were gonna go hunting, you can use all of that stuff. But like Bill's classes, like they're pretty much centered around like fighting with guns or empty handed or with knives. But yeah, that was kind of centric to the class. I don't know that it was a introductory class or an advanced class. It kind of covered the spectrum and there were people there that were pretty new to it and they got kind of probably the attention they needed to bring them up to speed and then there were other people that like were kind of on autopilot 
like they picked up little things here and there and largely got to kind of go out and play and shoot at all these different targets at different distances uh yeah i don't know it was it was fun and every time i go somewhere i definitely pick up new things and i definitely learn stuff at this class but yeah overall pretty cool class and if you're looking at this or any of the other Amtech shooting classes, you can find them all. There's a link down below over to the website. And yeah, pretty much the entire spectrum where it is either, again, a continuum of force as far as like distance to the threat, whether it's open hand, blade, pistol, carbine, night vision, or precision rifle stuff, the entire spectrum. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.